Hello everyone. In our last video, we will talk about how we can use the data we have from the prediction of our machine learning model to create graphs, tables, and analyze it. In this particular example, I have created a dashboard which has time series graph, cumulative graphs, year-wise comparison graph, pie chart for each category, and table to see the overall numbers. Going straight to the code, I have used pandas for data manipulation, dash library to create the dashboard, and Plotly.lib to create interactive graphs, which is actually quite useful when we try to visualize or analyze the data. So I have loaded a test data predictions here, which we got from our machine learning model. The data looks like this. We have the subject, body, day, month, year, the prediction. So we can use this data to manipulate and create graphs and tables as per our need. For example, I've created a data frame here with the following components date, month, year, and prediction. Now I can use this data to create graphs, month-wise or time series graph. I'll directly jump to the dashboard. So as you can see on the screen, this is a time series graph, and these all are interactive graphs. These graphs are plotted for each category, and we can zoom in and zoom out and actually see the data for each day. Similarly, I have created a total count graph, which is a year-wise comparison graph for each year. For example, in the month of August for the year 2020, 2021, and 2022, you can see the numbers here. Similarly, I have created a graph for the category for each year to compare it month-wise. For example, we have API standard queries and we have the data month-wise for the year 2022. And we can see and analyze like which category is having most number of queries. Similarly, we have got cumulative graphs, which actually give the total number of queries each month. We have the pie chart, which is also an interactive graph. And also we have the summary of emails in the form of tables. These are only a few examples how we can manipulate and create graphs. The source code for this particular example will be available on GitHub and the link will be provided in the description of the video. Hope this series of videos on the practical approach followed to implement machine learning model for email classification was interesting and beneficial. Thank you for watching the videos.